Because right now, you see all these types of pestilences going on. You see the types of sickness, monkey pox, black, black plague, COVID-19. Every single thing is hitting the earth at one time. Why is that? What is going on? The Bible says that the things were written aforetime was written for our learning. So what's going on today? Do, do, it, is it, is it, we say that term that these things are happening or have happened. That was back in Bible times. Are we not still living in Bible times? Yes, sir. The Bible is still unfolding. Meaning, guess what? These things that God said were going to happen back then are still happening today. Well, so what are those things? Let's catch you up that the Bible said it was written a four times. Start at, you know, you there? Yeah, read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 37. Which is another reason why we're out here for you so-called black men. We're here to warn you from the destruction that is coming. Right. Black woman, we're here to warn you of the destruction that is coming. Come and save your lives. Black man, come and save your life. Take back what belongs to you. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 37. Come on, come on. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The days of Noah was Noah built a big boat that saved him and his family from destruction. Right. We're trying to warn y'all to come onto that boat. Get delivered from the destruction. Read on. For as in the days that were before the flood, the days that were what? Before the flood, Come on. they were eating and drinking. Like today we're eating and drinking. We go to the stores, we go to the ABC stores, it's business as usual. Meanwhile, our people were, are being murdered by the masses. We see what happened up in New York a week ago. Our people were slaughtered like cattle. Right. Our people are murdered by the second. What we do, we march for a little bit, then we get quiet, then we let the cycle happen all over again. When are we going to wake up? Sisters, when are we going to wake up? People, when are we going to wake up? We do the same things over and over. We march, we protest, and then afterwards what? We get rocked right back to sleep, and then the cycle begins again, getting killed by the numbers, That's by right. the boatload. Read on. Mary, and giving in marriage. Mary, and giving in marriage, come on. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew, and knew not until the flood came. And did what? And knew not until the flood came. Just like today. We don't know when that nuclear destruction is coming. Right. But guess what? Take the warning. That's what your brothers are out here for, to warn you people. To warn you that destruction is coming to America. Right. Read on. And so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. In like manner, to the same way that Jesus of Christ is going to return. The same manner. God sent the prophets out, taught, while also delivering their own souls. It's the same things that's going on today, brother. Don't you agree? The same things that was going on in the days of Noah, brother, is going on today. Our people, the, the Lord sends the prophets out. Gives them warning, but a lot of our people's not going to listen. Are you going to be the one to save your life? Are you going to be the one that delivers your life today? Read on what you got. And then shall two be in the field, uh -huh. and one shall be taken, uh -huh. and the other left. Uh -huh. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. Hey, brother. What we're reading about here in the Bible, did you know that, uh, that uh, nuclear bombs are in the Bible? Did you know that? You ever heard that in church? Has the pastor ever told you about that? How did, did uh, are you familiar with the story of uh, Noah's Ark? Are you familiar with that? God said that first time he said he was going to destroy the earth with what? First time of water. What's the second time? Fire. With what? Fire. So you think that that fire, the cloud is just going to open up and this fire is going to rain down? No, I always thought that the fire going to be nuclear weapon. There we go. Let's prove that. Second Peter. We're going to show you and we're going to show you how to deliver yourself. If you would listen. If you listen, we're going to show you how to deliver yourself from that destruction. Because God said that two-thirds of his people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as you see on the sign, your people, two-thirds of them are going to die. They're not going to listen. They're going to hear this. They're going to say, oh, that sounds good. Or, y'all are the devil. I, this is my past name show me this. They're going to go about their lives, and they're going to be disintegrated. Right? So we're going to show you, Second Peter, where you got? This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. Hey, brother, what's your name? In? What's your name? Eugene. Eugene, 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 Eli. All right, so we're going to show you in the Bible, thus saith the Lord, nuclear weapons. Read what you got. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. Come on. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night.
night, just like it did in the days of Noah. Did they know when it was going to rain? But Noah was warning them, right? We are in a sense, we're Noah. Get on the boat. <laughs> Read. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. With a what? With a great noise. What weapon makes a great noise when it is launched? A bomb. A bomb. That noise is boom. Right? Read on. And the elements shall melt away with fervent heat. With what? Fervent heat. Come on. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Shall be what? Burned up. What are you reading? I am reading the Bible. What verse and chapter? Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. So we read to you in the New Testament. Now we're going to give it to you in the Old Testament. Because Pastor said the Old Testament done away with. We ain't got to read that no more. We delivered by the blood. Right? Give me Zechariah. Zechariah 14 and 12. God's been saying the same things from the beginning of time. We're just hard-headed. We want to do what we want to do. But, bro, we're going to show you in the Old Testament that the Old Testament, number one, things have happened. Things have not yet happened in the Old Testament that are happening today and are going to continue to happen as time goes on. Right. We're going to show you. Read what you got. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Now, what's a plague? Is a plague a good thing? Plague usually isn't a good thing. So God said, this is the plague. This is the thing. This is the bad, horrible thing that he's going to do to the people who are oppressed, the so-called black suspense and Native American. Are we not oppressed today in America? Or do we not have enemies? Do we not have enemies? That young man, that uh, that uh, that devil that shot up our people up in New York? That demon that shot up those kids down in Texas? Do we not have enemies? Where's the black man love that? Where's the black man love that? You tell me, Mr. Eugene. Nowhere. The Bible said that, but guess what? In here also holds what is going to uplift and build the black man. That's right. If you will receive it. You know what? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What weapon back then is going to consume flesh while you stand up on your feet? Is an arrow going to do that? Is a sword going to do that? No, it's not going to do that. This is talking about heat. Melting the flesh off your bones while you stand. You ever seen Terminator 2? You ever seen that scene when they're holding up to the gates and then that fire comes and it blows them off and the meat melts off, they the flesh melts off the bone? God said that they, they got that from this. If you want to make a great movie, you use the Bible. That's Everybody's right. using the book, the Bible, but except for the black man who the book was made for. Right. Read, come on. Read. And their eyes shall consume away in their home. Y'all listen up. We saw y'all in the Old Testament, which Pastor said, don't read, how God is going to destroy the earth if you do not repent by nuclear fire. Read. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. What is a bullet doing that? A bullet is not doing that. That is nuclear weapons. That's right. Every single one of these nations that are of power possess. I'm going to show you that. And guess what? God's going to gather them all together and let them loose on America. Right. Right. Let them loose on America. Revelation 18 to 4. Drop that. Then afterwards, I'm going to show you, brother, what you need to do to get on that boat. Because our deliverance is going to be strange. It's going to be strange. You ever heard of UFOs? You ever heard of that? You ever heard of that term before? Guess what? Those aren't UFOs. Those aren't unidentified. The Bible identifies them. Those belong to God. Right. That's our way up out of here. Swing low, sweet cherry. That's our way up out of here. But that's only if you adhere to the laws. That's God. right. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. Read now it up. listen up. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come on, come out of her, my people. Do what? Come out of her, my people. And I says, come out of her, my people. How do we come out of her? The her is America. How do we come out of her, America? 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. We're going to show you how to come out of her. Is it talking about everybody get on a boat and then go back to Africa? Is it talking about that? No, it's not. This is a spiritual thing. This book is a spiritual book. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Y'all listen up. This Read. is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Read it out. Uh, wherefore, come out from among them. Come among who? Come out from among them. Come on. And be ye separate. The them is talking about is these other nations. The so-called white man, the so-called Arab man, the so-called Chinese man. These people hate us. That's they right. hate us. 
God says, come out of them. What? And read on. And be ye separate. And be ye what? Separate. Be ye what? Separate. I don't mean go to the parties with them. Go to the barbecues with them. Go to the uh, stay at the job. Uh, stay at these uh, the uh, after parties. Go to the ball with them. God says what? Be ye separate. Come on. Saith the Lord. I uh -huh. ain't touch not the unclean thing. God calls them the unclean thing. What is we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.